This week's episode is all about giving back and how you can actually use giving back as a wealth hack in your business. Because not only is giving back the right thing to do for the planet, it's actually the right thing to do for your branding, your marketing, the positioning of your message. And there's a way to leverage your love of giving back, if it's something you love to do, to have you stand out in the marketplace with even more individualization, um, with even more passion, with even more um, commitment and creativity. It doesn't matter how much you give back. It doesn't matter the quantity. What matters is the quality of that give. And so if you're just starting your business or if you're just at that place where you're, you're growing it, um, either you're brand new or you're a little further along and you're thinking, I just don't really have that much to give back, I want to actually invite you to stay open-minded and see that giving back even a little bit, like $25 a month, can actually get you to the front side of your income faster, position your brand faster, and you can use that alignment, both your own inner alignment, knowing that you're giving back is such an amazing thing to walk through the world with, and the way that giving back can actually position your brand as a way to grow your business faster, because the more money we make, the more we can give back, both to ourselves and to and philanthropic and humanitarian causes that need us. And the truth is, is you need both. You need to be able to give to yourself financially and to give back to the world. The stronger and more resourced you are, the longer you'll be in the game of business and growing a business and making a difference anyway. So just don't forget that those two things go hand in hand. And when we hitch our brand with a philanthropic cause, there's so much good we can do. The recent event that we hosted that allowed us to raise over $75,000 for girls in Uganda was one of the most incredible events I've ever led. I'm just so proud of the event. And one of the reasons why the event was awesome was that we had partnered with this incredible organization called Girl Power. And people knew when they came to the event, Girl Power was going to be there, Vivian Glick was going to be speaking, and Vivian helped us get the word out about the event. There were women in the room because the nonprofit that we were partnering with had also promoted the event. The Girl Power organization, which the the organization is called Just Like My Child, is one of those organizations that doesn't just give a man or a woman a fish, but instead teaches a woman or a man to fish. Uh, the, the young women on the ground in Uganda who are um, in college, they're you know, in their late teens or early 20s, they're being trained to lead the Girl Power program, whether the Just Like My Child organization is there or not, whether Vivian is there or not. Um, Vivian is empowering a self-directed, self-funded organization in Africa. The families are getting the training. The teachers are getting the training. Over 6,000 girls are getting the training, and it's spreading like wildfire. We're not starting businesses just to, you know, peddle widgets and be able to buy another car. It's like entrepreneurship as a means to creating solutions for the planet. Literally the process of hitching your brand to a bigger cause, it's gonna have you make more money. And a lot of our financial blocks, our blocks to receiving more money are so egocentric that as soon as we get outside of ourselves and align with a greater cause, like we actually will energetically open to an unlimited amount of money. So there's, Three quick ways I want to give you a rundown on how you could partner, how you could give back, no matter how much money you're making right now in your business or whether you're just getting started. The first way is that you could just give a percentage of your profits, Um, you know, 2%, 5%. 5 5% is probably the max that you're going to be able to afford to give away in the beginning because we need to make sure that you get paid so that you're in this for the long haul. But when you give back that 5%, 5% of profits go to X organization, whatever it is, you're going to want to actually include that in your marketing and mention it. Mention it to your potential clients and your clients. Hey, did you know that your investment in this program also contributes to XYZ cause? Don't be shy about putting that front and center. People want to be a part of Solutions for the Planet. So that's just the easiest way, and it's the way that I'd recommend you all get started. The second way 
is the one-to-one -one model. This is the Tom's Shoes model. This is the This Bar Saves Lives model. Like Tom's Shoes, you buy a pair of shoes and a kid in a developing country gets a pair of shoes. It's super sticky, like it's, it's magnetic. Like people are like, oh my gosh, if I do this, then this one thing happens. And it can create a lot of buy-in and loyalty in your customers. So we've had years where anytime a, a woman joins our program, we give a micro loan to a woman in a third world country. And then we put pictures of her up in the Facebook group and the community follows the women that we're giving the micro loans to. And it creates this real sense of I'm doing something. I'm starting my business through the Women Rocking Business Training Program. Women Rocking Business Training Program systems are proven strategies to grow your business. So I'm I'm starting my business over here and as I'm doing that the women rocking business community is contributing to women in developing countries that's the one for one model so that's a second level of giving that you can play with the third level of giving is the fundraising model and that's for women speakers it's for those of you that are interested in bringing in a fundraiser as part of a two or three day event now you need to have an event that's long enough that the fundraiser doesn't take up more than about one eighth of the event because the event is meant to promote your business. So um, what we teach women to do at Women Rocking Business is to host two or three day events and make an offer for their programs, their retreats, their six month training programs, 12 month training programs, seven day retreats. Having a two day event can really create hunger and um, really help you um, be matched with the ideal clients who are ready to invest at a higher um, at a higher rate with you. And so you want to make sure the event is 80% focused on that offer, the offer that you're making to have your customers continue on with you, or else you won't be able to afford to do these events in the first place. And that being said, you can take 15% or maybe 20% of that event, probably more like 15% of that event, and and, and give that time to a fundraising effort. You can bring in a speaker who can speak on behalf of a cause that you wanna raise money for, or you can be the one that does the fundraiser and you can raise money on behalf of an organization that you care about. Because the truth is, it can actually be tricky to find an organization that you care about that has somebody connected to that organization that can come and speak on your stage and do a good job positioning you and positioning the cause. So there have been times when I've wanted to give to an organization, but I haven't been able to get like a speaker to come out and do the talk and the fundraiser, so I just do it. And I ask permission to pull some photos off their website and do a little um, chat about the cause and do an ask and invite the people in the audience to make a donation. It can be really helpful to have everybody in the audience kind of rally around a certain amount because there's a strategy to really raising a certain amount of money at an event. But that's the third way of creating <clears throat> fundraising and philanthropic alliances in your business. You can do an event where you partner with a phil philanthropic cause or a um, humanitarian organization or a nonprofit, <clears throat> and that partnership can actually position your event, it can have the marketing of your event be even stronger, and the organization that you're partnering with could help you get the word out about your event, so you have more butts and seats. Really powerful, and the truth over here at Women Rocking Business is that every time we've partnered with a philanthropic cause, we've made more money. The event has been more profitable, and the more money we raise, the more money we make. So when we raised $2,000, we made $25,000. When we raised $75,000, we, ra uh, we made $1.4 million. And for the last several years, we've raised anywhere between $30,000 and $75,000 at our events. And we've always made a million dollars plus in profit for the company at the events. And so think about ways that you can partner and get creative, right? Our company includes the values at Women Rocking Business as we give out the strategic proven business plans of sisterhood and empowerment and rising together. And so does the Just Like My Child organization. So how can you partner with a philanthropic cause? How can you make a, an even bigger difference? Thank you for being the very best part of Women Rocking Business. Mwah!